the Junkers Jumo 205 aircraft engine was the most famous of a series of aircraft diesel engines that were the first, and for more than half a century the only, successful aviation diesel power plants. The Jumo 204 first entered service in 1932. Later engines in the series were styled Jumo 206, Jumo 207 and Jumo 208, and differed in stroke and bore and supercharging arrangements. In all more than 900 of these engines were produced, in the 1930s and through most of World War II. Design and Development These engines all used a two-stroke cycle with 12 pistons sharing six cylinders, piston crown to piston crown in an opposed piston configuration. This unusual configuration required two crankshafts, one at the bottom of the cylinder block and the other at the top, geared together. The pistons moved towards each other during the operating cycle. Intake and exhaust manifolds were duplicated on both sides of the block. There were two cam-operated injection pumps per cylinder, each feeding two nozzles, for four nozzles per cylinder in all. As is typical of two-stroke designs, the Jumos used fixed intake and exhaust port apertures cut into the cylinder liners instead of valves during their manufacture, which were uncovered when the pistons reached a certain point in their stroke. Normally such designs have poor volumetric efficiency because both ports open and close at the same time and are generally located across from each other in the cylinder. This leads to poor scavenging of the burnt charge, which is why valve-less two-strokes generally produce smoke and are inefficient. The Jumo solved this problem to a very large degree through clever arrangement of the ports. The intake port was located under the lower piston, while the exhaust port was under the upper. The lower crankshaft ran 11 degrees behind the upper, meaning that the exhaust ports opened and, even more importantly, closed first, allowing proper scavenging. This system made the two-stroke Jumos run as cleanly and almost as efficiently as four-stroke engines using valves but with considerably less complexity. There is some downside to the system as well. For one, since matching pistons were not closing at quite the same time, but one ran ahead of the other, the engine could not run as smoothly as a true opposed style engine. In addition, the power from the two opposing crankshafts had to be geared together, adding weight and complexity, a problem the design shared with H-block engines. In the Jumo, these problems were avoided to some degree by taking power primarily from the upper shaft, somewhat offset upwards on the engine's front end. All of the accessories, such as fuel pumps, injectors and the scavenging compressor, were run from the lower shaft, meaning over half of its power was already used up. What was left over was then geared to the upper shaft, which ran the engine's propeller. In all, about three quarters of the power to the engine's propeller came from the upper crankshaft. In theory, the flat layout of the engine could have allowed it to be installed inside the thick wings of larger aircraft, such as airliners and bombers. Details of the oil scavenging system suggest this was not possible and the engine had to be run vertically, as it was on all designs using it. Variants, A12 cylinder version, the Jumo 218, was designed but never built while a single 24-cylinder four-crankshaft Junkers Jumo 223 was built and tested. The Jumo 204 and 205 were licensed to Napier and Son, who built a small number as the Napier Culverin just prior to the war. After the war, they mounted three Culverins in a triangle layout to produce the Napier Deltic, which was for some time one of the most powerful and compact diesel engines in the world. Work on this engine started in 1947 and engines were running by 1950. Applications The Jumo 205 powered early versions of the Junkers Ju 86 bomber, but was found too unresponsive for combat and liable to failure at maximum power, common for combat aircraft. Later versions of the design also used the engine for extreme high altitude use, as with the Ju 86P and are versions for high altitude reconnaissance over the British Isles. It was far more successful as a power unit for airships, for which its characteristics were ideal, and for non-combat applications such as the Blochmann Voss H-139 airliner. Its more fuel-efficient operation lent itself for use on Germany's few maritime patrol flying boat designs during World War II, such as the BV-138 and BV-222. Applications list equals, 
Lochman Voss BV138, Lochman Voss H139, Lochman Voss BV222, Dornier Du18, Dornier Du26, Junkers Du86. Specifications, data from. Equals general characteristics equals, type, 6-cylinder 12-piston liquid-cooled opposed piston inline 2-stroke diesel engine, bore, 105 mm, stroke, 160 mm, displacement, 16.63 L, length, 76.5 inches, width, 21.54 in, height, 52.17 in, dry weight, 595 kilograms. Equals components equals, supercharger, SPA 1 quarter LGBLA currency say, fuel system, fuel injection, fuel type, diesel, oil system, forced with one pressure and two scavenge pumps, cooling system, liquid cooled. Equals performance equals, power output, 880 picoseconds at 2800 rpms, specific power, 39.0 kilowatts per litre. Compression ratio, 17.1, power to weight ratio, 1.09 kilowatts per kilogram. Other notable opposed piston engines, Comma TS3 the Comma Knocker commercial vehicle engine. Leyland Motors L60 tank engine, used in the Chieftain tank. Similar in layout to the Junkers Jumo 205 and Napier Culverin. Rolls-Royce K60 engine. Smaller and improved version of the L60 used in the FV430 series armored fighting vehicles and Swedish tank STRV-103. Napier Deltic. Soviet engine 5 TDF used on tank T-64. Soviet engine 6 TD used on tanks T-80UD, T-84 and Al Khalid. Fairbanks Morse 38 8 and 1 8. See also, list of aircraft engines. References. Equals notes equals. Equals bibliography equals. External links. Multi crankshafts opposed piston engines. Description and coup to a view. Royal Air Force Museum. Jumo 205. Opposed piston engines. Coms. Jumo 205 page. Opposed piston engines. Coms. Jumo 207 page.